<laughs> oh boy. Oh, I love this the, movie. Oh no, geez, the holidays. They can be fun and festive for everybody until something like that happens. That was an egg bake catastrophe <laughs> in the movie The Family Stone. Christmas was ruined. Oh man, from wine spills to coffee mishaps, Kat Clovis from St. Croix Cleaners is here with the do's and the don'ts of removing some of those tough stains. Nice to see you, yes, Kat. Hello. Tis the season to come home and be like, oh man, look what I got all over me. Starting with the red wine. This yes. is the worst, right? Absolutely. Sometimes I bring two outfit changes just in case. <laughs> <laughs> They're servant wine. Yes. All right, now this is exciting. Yep, I'm going to spill a little bit. All right, oh, easy. Man. I don't like doing this. Oh my gosh. Right. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh All right, boys. we might need a couple ice cubes for that. So sorry about that. So what's your technique? You got some yes. do's and don'ts. So what you want to do is before it soaks through to the bottom of the shirt, you're going to put a pile of paper towels underneath it. Underneath the spill. Yes. Okay. And we might not be able to... Uh, look, I overspilled there. <laughs> I overspilled. Yeah. But the magic trick is to take a couple ice cubes, and if I could grab them, my yeah. goodness, and just slowly melt them over the red wine. Why not water here? Why? why what's up with the ice you, cubes? Why the do you want ice, this frozen? Yes, the ice cube is going to break down the sugar that's in the red wine. Pouring water is just going to kind of saturate it even more. Okay. So ice cube kind of melts it down. A lot of people think if they pour white wine on the red wine, it'll kind of mix. But that's actually just putting... No, those people are drunk, generally, yeah. by the way. <laughs> but, Kim, give me some of yours. That'll help. <laughs> what is that doing? That's just, putting... that's just adding more sugar into it, and it's actually setting the red wine color. So oh. it takes... a skilled professional to get that one out. Oh my goodness. Um, so you'll slowly see the color starting to go. You want to make sure the whole ice cube melts. And then what's wow. going to happen to it? Um, the color will be gone and you'll just kind of have the water there left. And then, so, okay, do we want to wash it right away? Do you, you want to let it dry yeah. or what? If it's, wa if it's um, washable safe, then just go ahead and wash it. Otherwise, bring it to your dry cleaners if it's wool or anything. Yeah. This trick works on pretty much any fabrics except silk. Oh. Um, you don't want to put your water, if, if you spill wine right. on silk, you Want to bring it into the dry cleaners right With away. With a panicked look on your face, and <laughs> so they get to it right immediately. That second, yeah. it's really yeah. upsetting. It's yeah. at that point. Just take it, please. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, chocolate can really ruin a party too over the holidays. Yes. We've already got a little bit of chocolate on this pocket. There's so many yes. good treats. Okay, they fall right on your shirt. So As, what should we do? Well, the biggest thing with chocolate is you have to be incredibly careful because it is so dye saturated <gasps> that if you clean chocolate the wrong way, it will stay in the garment forever. Oh, jeez, um, Louise. Yes. Ever? Okay, so the, tell us what to do. Then. Yes. The only thing to do with chocolate is just dab some warm water. Um, lukewarm is best, a little higher than room temperature, and you are literally just going to let it soak in there. You With fibers, you do not want to rub the fabric whatsoever. Oh, she's not even moving her no. hand. Um, so this is going to break down the sugar again. That's it, basically what water's for. It does look so unfortunate, too. I <laughs> it mean, does. It was very, very bad. Remember that time that you were on an airplane, and you didn't know where that missing candy bar went, and then you found out that it was under your very behind yeah. the oh, whole no. time, and yep. he was walking through the airport? Right the seat of my pants as I walked out of that place. That <laughs> oh, was a my bad goodness. oh my goodness. Look so at it already lifting. Yep, but you don't want to rub it because that's just going to deteriorate the fibers in your shirt and cause the chocolate to stain and cause the shirt to have less wear. So we just saw there, don't use soapy water and don't use club soda. Correct. That's just going to set it. Club soda is only good, as you'll see on our next one, on a tannin stain. And that's because tannin, we call it that because it dries a brown, but it's not as thick of a solid as chocolate is. Um, but it's a base, and you, you want to mix a base with an acid to get it back to pH neutral. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Okay, so, so let's move on to the You coffee. really want me to spill black coffee on this beautiful dress. <laughs> You'll be surprised what the club soda can do. Really? But maybe not as bad oh, as the wine. Just, just, oh, okay. perfect. Oh, man. Shoot. Oh, right. oh, sorry, Karen. I'm <laughs> oh, that's the early. worst. <laughs> now what do we do? Yes, so actually the club soda, you actually just... Oh boy. Pour it on there? Pour it on <gasps> there. Oh! What the heck? I know it's like mad wow. science. Oh my <laughs> gosh, do some more! Oh my wow. gosh. Yes, it's very cool. Oh I know. My gosh. Gosh. It just takes it right out. Now, the only thing is, Holy Pete. <laughs> this is perfect for wow. Christmas dinner. But you want to make sure you bring it into your cleaners right after because this is still, it may be pH neutral, but there's still sugar in this, and that's going to turn yellow over time if you don't get it fully cleaned out. Fantastic. If you don't always have your club soda on hand, what else might work with a You can effect? use um, warm vinegar waters, okay, and you can also use lemon juice, but only on coffee-specific stains. You don't want to use them on anything else we've shown today. It'll just stain the shirt further. But okay. that or is dress. incredible. And don't start rubbing this after it goes out. Nope. Don't rub no it to dry rubbing. Like that. No don't rubbing rub, should guys. happen ever. 
sure. All right, what about gravy? Oh, All right. the gravy. You're just crushing that plate <laughs> of taters and gravy and then yes. womp, womp. I feel like this is the biggest Thanksgiving and Christmas day ever to happen. And then you're known as gross gravy guy. Yeah. <laughs> Did Carl even know he had gravy on his shirt? <laughs> what are we going to do now? So basically what you want to use is a degreaser. We highly recommend Dawn Dish Soap. We even have this in our plant. Boy. because Yes, it is pH neutral, so it's safe on all your clothes. Well, you can safe even, for those ducklings. Yes, and it's a degreaser, so anything with grease, you can use Dawn Dish Soap. All right, so what are you doing? You're putting it on? Are we scrubbing? Nope. What are we doing here? We are mixing it in the water. Dawn Dish Soap is super concentrated, so you only need to put a little bit in. Okay. And then you just mix it together, and you yeah. take our nifty paper towels. Yeah. And oh, and then you're just going to do oh, that. Oh, you're just going to Get a little dip. wet yeah. a little bit. And then do the same dabbing or just yep. setting as the We're chocolate. just kind of, you know, we, again, we don't want to rub, but it's already starting to come right out oh my because goodness. of the soap. Now, this, you are putting soap in it, so this would need to be washed after. Yeah. But again, it's going to get rid of the color, so you can still have dessert with your family, and they're not going to make fun of you. Yeah, and then you can <laughs> move on. Okay, and you don't want to rub the fibers. You don't want to use, again, these kind of cleaning tricks if your garment is Silk. Silk is like Correct. your your take. You're making a deal with the devil if you wear silk to a yes, party. Yes, absolutely. High that risk, is high reward. <laughs> yes, that's true. Yeah, Thank you're you very that. fun. Thank you. Yes. Hey, all of these tricks are quick ways to uh, make sure that your clothes, of course, make it through the holiday season. But if the stain is not completely removed, do bring it into St. Croix Cleaners. Mention TCL at any of the 18 Twin Cities Metro locations. You'll get 20% off your dry cleaning bill. Wow, from now until December 31st. I hope my husband is watching. Here we go, Elizabeth.